Hello everyone, welcome back to our YouTube channel Boomi World. Hope everyone is doing great. If you haven't watched my previous videos, please go and check it out now. So in this video, I'm going to discuss about flow control shape and how to configure flow control shape on Boomi. So first we'll see what is flow control shape. Flow control shape is used to configure how documents are processed within a process execution. Flow control shape is mainly used to perform parallel processing options. So we have some advantages by using the flow control shape which are flow control shape is used to speed up the slow or complex shapes and spread memory to multiple computing processes. There are some disadvantages as well by using flow control shape which is flow control shape will decrease the performance of the process. So now we'll see how to configure flow control shape on Boomi. So flow control shape is one of the logical shapes so you can find flow control shape under logical shape. So I'm just dragging and dropping the flow control shape. So here you can find definition of the flow control shape. The flow control shape contains a set of options that allow you to configure how documents are processed within a process execution. So this is the definition of the flow control shape. Now we can see how to configure flow control shape. So first we have display name. So this is not a mandatory option. If you want to give, you can give. Otherwise you can leave as it is. So after that we have parallel processing options. To enable this parallel processing option you must have molecules enabled in your account. If you don't have access to enable this parallel processing type you need to contact Boomi representative to enable this options. Okay. So if this option is enabled for you we have two parallel processing types which are threads and processes so what is this threads and processes so threads is nothing but to run multiple processing tasks concurrently we can select threads so to run multiple threads sequentially at the time we can select processes okay so by default parallel processing type will be threads and this is disabled until unless you have molecules enabled on your account. So after that we have number of threads options. So this option used to process the documents in parallel from, from the current flow control shape through the completion. Okay. Suppose if the number is less than or equal to 1, no parallel processing is performed. Suppose if your process is running on a Boomi Atom Cloud, the maximum number of threads or processes that you can use is 10. So up to 10 you can use this number of threads options. Okay. So after that we have batch options. So we have three options. No document batching, run each document individually and run as batches of document. Okay. So we'll see one by one. So first no document batching. If you select this no document batching, the flow control shape does not break document sets. But this option will adhere to the parallel processing option. But suppose if you select run each document individually, it will execute each document to completion one document at a time okay suppose if you are getting uh, 10 documents from the source system if you want to run each document individually I mean one document at a time that time you can select this option okay so that this flow control shape will take first document and then it will run the entire process after that it will take second document and then it will run remaining execution okay so after that we have option called run as batches of documents if you select this run as batches of documents it will breaks the entire document set into batches based on the defined document document count and execute each batch to completion one batch at a time suppose if you are getting 10 documents from the source system and you want to execute two documents at a time so that time you can choose two so that this flow control shape first will take two documents and then it will process the remaining execution part so once everything is completed it will come to the flow control shape again and then it will take next to two documents and then it will process so once those documents got processed again it will come to the flow control shape and then it will pick another next batch of two documents so like that these batch options will work so based on your requirement you need to choose the these batch options so I'm connecting data process shape to flow control shape and then flow control shape to branch shape okay 
so from source system we are getting one flat file and after that we are splitting that flat file into line by line so after splitting of flat file we'll get two documents to flow control shape right so if you select this no document batching option this flow control shape will take two documents at a time and then the, the two documents it will pass to the branch shape and then uh, concurrently it will go to branch one branch two branch three and then branch four suppose if you select run each document individually so first it will take first document and then it will pass to the branch after that branch one branch two branch three and then branch four so once everything is completed again it will come to the flow control shape and then it will pick next second document and then it will pass to the branch shape so like that this option will work suppose if you select this run batches of documents suppose if you are getting multiple documents i mean 10 or uh, 20 documents that time you can specify number so based on this number it will breaks the documents and then it will run so now i'm getting only two documents right so i'm just clicking on run each document individually and then saving the process and i'm testing the process see the same two records pass from the flow control shape so this is how we need to configure flow control shape on boomi hope you understand today's video if you have any doubts please let me know in comment section if you like my video please like share and subscribe to our youtube channel and please don't forget to click the bell icon so that you will get all notifications whenever i post the video thank you all see you in my next video until then bye bye